Hello everybody. Hope you all doing well. Welcome back to Can Visa Pathway. As we all know that Canada is going through biggest strike in Canadian history. Throughout the strike, there will be disruptions to various public services in Canada, including those provided by IRCC. At press conference on April 19th, Immigration Minister Sean Fraser said that impact of the strike could be severe depending on the length of work stoppages. So we will discuss in detail impact on all the services offered by IRCC. So we will discuss these topics one by one. For example, will IRCC process my application? What if my work or study permit is about to expire? Can I still live or work or study in Canada during the strike? Can I still access my online account? Can I still apply for LMI? Can I get a Canadian passport? Can I contact IRCC? Are settlement services are still available in Canada during strike? So let's discuss these all topics one by one. Before we start our video, if you are coming to our channel for the very first time, please consider subscribing to our channel to get most up to date news, tips, tricks about Canadian immigration. we try to make people self dependent so let's discuss our first point will ircc process my application if you are inside canada then irc says that it has limited capacity during the strike so delays in processing application is expected this include delays to applications currently being prioritized on the other hand outside of canada ircc agents in international offices are still working the next question is what if my work or study permit is about to expire in that scenario you can apply online to extend your stay in canada during the strike you must meet all the conditions of application for example biometric fee etc and you must submit your application before your temporary residence status expires The next question is can I still apply to live or work or study in Canada during the strike the answer is it is possible to apply online or mail the application to IRCC however there will be processing delays so make sure when you submit or mail your application to IRCC there is no mistake and you provided all the documents which are required for the application The next point is will there still be citizenship ceremonies so citizenship events scheduled while strike is going on will be rescheduled IRC says that some urgent applications may still be processed The next point is in person appointments with IRCC still happening Clients in Canada with immigration related appointments will be contacted to reschedule or cancel appointments Overseas interviews are proceeding as scheduled unless advised otherwise by the IRCC office abroad. The next is can I contact IRCC? Here I want to mention that IRCC client support center is experiencing services delays and the department says that you can expect longer response times. This also applies to web form. If you want to raise web form then it could take more time to reply than as usual here i want to mention another thing that ircc is not answering social media inquiries as well the next question is can i still access to my online account yes you can still access to your online account and you can track application status for citizenship grant permanent resident family class express entry study permit work permit temporary resident visa the next question is can i still apply for an lmi employment and social development canada esdc is advising that there will be service disruption or delays within the department especially there will be disruption for temporary foreign worker program which mean that department will be delayed in reviewing lmis a mandatory document for canadian employers who wish to hire foreign workers from abroad 
The next point is can I get a Canadian passport? So here during the labor disruption Service Canada is only processing domestic passports application for emergency and humanitarian situations. The next is what if I am abroad and need consular or passport services. So in this case you may experience delays with citizenship or passport services outside of Canada. You can still access your passport application and submitted documents. The last point is are settlement services still available? These services offered by non-governmental organizations are still available. The first one settlement services from IRCC partner organizations. Second is healthcare through the interim federal health program. The third is visa application centers outside of Canada. If you have any question regarding all these questions, you can leave a comment in comment box. I will definitely reply. In the end of the video, I want to give some update of the strike. One of the key issue is that union members want to continue to work remotely. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, 75% of union members moved to remote work or work from home. Union says that Public service workers were as effective working remotely as when they were in the office and that 90% of the workers want to continue work remotely and they are also seeking a wage increase that better reflects the high cost of living inside Canada. I hope you guys find my videos useful. I always try to bring video which could help you and help you learn better and be independent. If you like our video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.